Okay. Um, that one counterweight is not gonna hold this. Oh my god, I haven't used this 80 in a long time. But uh, I'm, I may have to use my 50 millimeter. <laughs> I need another counterweight. Shit. Okay, so using that 80 is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to buy me another Orion 50 millimeter guide scope helicoil again. So because I'm using I only have one counterweight <laughs> that that 80 thing on top where everybody mounted on top of the OTA right here that's just freaking crazy um, I believe still using the uh, guide scope uh, 50 millimeter helicoil helicoil focuser should put me in range of uh, you know focusing on the stars for guiding to mount this on here would be nuts <laughs> can you imagine that? No way. I would need another. I would require another weight. Now you're probably wondering what am I going to use for my finder scope? Well, I got Backyard EOS that can take me in range for focusing and finding stars. I can use the, uh, the SAG here, Star Shoot Auto Guider, also to find the stars. My running PhD too. I need to find a way to add another guide scope on here. Well, finder scopes bracket or some type. All right, that's much better. Um, I mounted the short 50 on top. So uh, it's aligned. It decals on top, and I still get to use my counterweight with one using my finder scope. Yeah, I kind of like robbed some parts from my other telescope, but getting this build is like NASCAR. Gotta tune that car just right, a wedge here and a wedge there. Here for this telescope, you gotta have balance. So it's balancing out pretty well. And I have perfect. All right, so I need to buy another 50 and um, another finder scope. Yeah. It's perfect. All right. Let's do this. Okay, I'm happy with this configuration. Damn, it's fucking huge. <laughs> I definitely need an observatory this year.